You were my courage, my sword and shield Grace on the pressure, my ball of steel I was a storm Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, hi my name is Maya Today is February 14th, 2018 And today I decided I would film a get ready with me video So Today, as I just said, is February 14th, aka Valentine's Day, and today I have a lot planned because today I am hoping and praying that my check that I have coming in the mail to me is going to come in. Um, if not, it will be okay though because hopefully my family will give me some money because I was planning on taking my boyfriend out for dinner and paying them back anyways, so... So today I have big plans with my boyfriend. Um, this will probably be like one of our official, like first official dates. I'm hoping that I feel like I, like as I wrote in the description of my last video, um, I did not, I had the stomach bug and I was really sick. So today when I woke up, like I just woke up like not too long ago. When I woke up today, I feel great. I don't feel sick in any way, but then again, I do have to probably get up and walk around and see how my stomach is because right now I've just been laying down all night. So I'm hoping that my stomach stays the way it is right now. I'm hungry, but I'm not too hungry. So, But I'm really hoping that today my stomach is fine because... Last night, my stomach was still kind of iffy, like if I got up to walk around too much, I would get nauseous kind of, but I wouldn't get to the point where I was going to get sick again. I would just kind of have to sit down and take a break. But today, I'm going to show you guys the process of me getting ready because regardless of whether I feel good or not, I'm definitely going to go get food for me and him. Um, the only thing that I have to wonder about is if I do feel good enough and if the restaurant that I'm hoping that we're going to go to isn't crowded, if I feel up to it, we will stay at the restaurant and eat. But if not, um, since it's a buffet, we can get boxes and you can go through and get whatever you want. We'll bring it home, watch a movie. Um, I might make something for dessert. I'm not 100% sure. But it'll just be a nice day for me and him. I'm sorry if I keep switching hands. My hands are, like, getting tired because I have a giant, like, ring light on my phone. So my phone's, like, top-heavy. But anyways, I just thought a Get Ready With Me for Valentine's Day video was a really um good idea for kind of, like, a Get Ready With Me video. So last night, or aka yesterday, I took a bath and... And then last night, I washed my hair, so I'm all clean right now. I might go in and take a shower and wash my body again, because th since I was sick all day yesterday too, I don't really, I think that just taking a another shower and washing my body and stuff again would really help, so I might go do that. But my hair is 100% clean. I don't want to wash it because I don't want it to get wet again and have to wait for it to get dry. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do for my hair, but I don't want to do something super duper outrageous. Mm, I don't know. So I'll figure it out. I just went online and I typed in Valentine's Day hairstyles. And I found the one that I was going to do. I will insert a picture um, at the end of this video clip. But it's really cute. And I'm pretty sure I can do it. And it involves my hair being straight. Which I kind of wanted to straighten my hair. And if I don't want to straighten my hair. Well I'll have to do it. Because it will make doing the hairstyle easier. But at the end if I don't want it straightened. I can go ahead and curl. Do really loose curls. Which I might do. The hairstyle looks really cute straight. But I don't know how um, it's going to look with my hair. Um, Probably very good. Because my hair is pretty short. It doesn't really grow. Let's just say that. My hair never. I feel like my hair never grows. But every time that I dye my hair. My hair seems to grow so fast. I don't know. I need to get up. I'm going to get up. And start 
my day. Oh, looked like I had like stuff on my neck. I was like, the fuck? Um, so I just grabbed everything to do my makeup. So I'm gonna put my headband on. I threw my hair up. It looks crazy though because it like all like kind of like cr tightly like not not necessarily knotted but it kind of like curled up throughout the night. I don't know my hair never does that so anyways um I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do for my makeup today. Um I don't want to just do something natural because that's kind of boring so we'll figure it out long as, as we always. Go. Oh I didn't grab a cotton ball that's okay. Um, as always, before I ever start my makeup or anything like that, I always use the Clean and Clear Essentials Deep Cleaning Estrogen. It is oil-free and it helps prevent and treat pimples and stuff like that. So my face has definitely cleared up. And um, well, the only thing is right now is my face. Um, since I'm pregnant, um, my face is having very bad red dry spots. So my cheek has a dry red spot right there and like on my nose and stuff. So that's super duper irritating. So I'm going to go grab a cotton ball really quick from upstairs so that I can use <laughs> my stuff. Okay, that was a roller coaster. I called my doctor to reschedule my appointment because since I was sick, like I said, or I don't know if I said, but I can't remember. I'm also frustrated with myself right now because all of my appointment cards for all my rest of my doctor's appointments that I had coming up until the baby was be, would be born, I have no idea where they went. That really irritates me. I'm going to have to search for them. And if I can't find them, then I'm going to have to have them give me all new ones. Um, so I went ahead and I put on my face stuff, which has just been in my skin for a little while. Um, since I put it on right before I called and all that kind of stuff. So now I'm just going to put on some lotion because, like I said earlier, my face has been super duper dry with dry patches. Um, I'm just using a brush. I need to wash all of my brushes after today um, because I think that may be one of the reasons I keep getting sick is because I haven't washed my brushes in a while. Um, and if you don't wash your brushes after a while bacteria can start growing on them that can make you sick just like if you use your hands to do your makeup a lot and they're not like washed and stuff even if you like start touching your face a lot like I tend to touch my face a lot for some rude reason I don't know why I just do but you can get like sick more often by touching your face because your hands have a lot of germs on them so I need to wash my makeup brushes but I need to get makeup brush cleaner from Real Techniques because that's the only makeup brush cleaner that I really like. <sighs> Hold on. Alright, so I just finished putting on lotion and I'm going to let that like dry into my skin before I start doing like foundation. Normally I would do my foundation first but since I'm not just using natural colors and I'm going to be using more kind of like smoky tones kind of like more like brown smoky tones with a little bit of like a pink tone in there for like Valentine's Day colors. Um, I'm going to do my eyes before I do any foundation so that I don't have to put extra concealer on. But I'm going to put some concealer on my eyelids because I don't have an eyeshadow primer. Um, and I do like having my eyelids one color um, because my eyelids are super duper veiny. So I'm just going to be using the... Rimmel London Match Perfection Concealer. It just looks like this. I am almost out. This was actually one that my friend gave me. And I'm just going to use my Real Techni Technique Stippling Brush to blend that out on my eye. Um, I do use my stippling brush for foundation and then I do take my beauty blender that I have and blend it into my skin the rest of the way because my stippling brush does sometimes, it's the brand of foundation I think that I use, um, 
it leaves it streaky because the brush is like a stippling brush it's got like a bunch of different size bristles yada 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 so this is the palette i'm going to be using i'm sorry if there's a reflecting this is the palette i use every time that i do my eyeshadow um i use all the natural tones in it but today um i'm going to be using it also for my eyeshadow look I'm ready to break the top off because the top does not like want to open all the way up. It's like, it was like really, really, but I broke it a little bit to open it up the rest of the way. Oops. <laughs> so I'm going to take my Eagles tool brush first and use this white shade right here. The names are all on the back. But the thing is, is that since there are so many eyeshadows in here, the back has it flipped backwards. So the on this side, it's the colors that are actually on this side. So I'm not going to say the names because that's just a hassle of going through and like counting and stuff. But I'm going to put the white all over my eye just to kind of set the concealer so the concealer is not super duper tacky on my eyes. I don't know. Also, it helps with like a base color. Next, I'm going to take this brush. There is no name to this brush because I bought it off the Wish app. It's just a blending brush. I'm going to be taking this, sh this shade right here, this brown. I'm putting that in my crease. It's kind of like a transition color. in the sound of your heart beating baby you are mine to lose oh and i'm missing the sound of your heart beating because everybody's going out on dates and stuff next i'm going to use this really dark color here and then i'm going to take some of this pink right here in the corner and add a little bit of pink into my crease too just to add a little bit of color so i will come back when that is all done oh i'm missing the sound of your heart beating nothing beneath it forgive me for staring forgive me for breathing we might not know why we might not know how but baby tonight we're beautiful now we're beautiful now we're beautiful now we might not know why we might not know how but baby tonight This is definitely why I am glad that I went ahead and did eyeshadow first because I knew that fallout was going to happen. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of brown over the pink so that it's not super duper pink because I ended up putting a little bit too much pink on but that's okay. Trial and error. Layering colors. Always make mistakes here and there. So I'm going to fix now I'm going to put this color on my lid to clean it up a little bit and then I'm either going to pick the gold or this pinky champagne color because both of those colors I have 
cream eyeshadows for and I love to put the cream um eyeshadows underneath and then put the powders on top because it pops it more so I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do about that but I'm definitely going to put this nude on that nude color right there so that my eyes aren't covered in brown and pink okay so I think this is as good as it's going to get obviously it will probably look 10 times better after I put eyeliner and mascara on and I do the rest of my makeup but the crease I have been having like the most trouble with I've been trying to like clean up underneath my eyes too and I think that's what is wrong with this eye is I wipe it up too high so I might fix a little bit more of this eye but I did go ahead and use the champagne -y color it kind of looks more gold for some reason but definitely is not gold it just comes up gold on the camera but I'm going to, to fix this up and put on some eyeliner I'm not going to do my under um eyeshadow like on my lower lash line until after I do foundation and stuff so I will be right back after I do eyeliner and the skin. eyeliner that I'm going to be using is the elf jet I guess liquid eyeliner or gel eyeliner um, unfortunately, I cannot find the brush that I normally use. It's a little itty bitty black brush and it's like angled. So I'm just going to use this flat side of this eyeshadow brush that I don't use very often. And it's like stiff enough so that it'll be good for an eyeliner brush. So, wish me luck. Okay, eyeliner is done. I have a little itty bitty wing right there. But every time that I try to wipe it away, it doesn't go away. I don't know, but I'm going to put on my top eyeliner or top mascara and then do my eyebrows. <laughs> Mama told me, go make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely Once I was seven years old It was a big, big world, but we thought we were bigger Pushing each other to the limits, we were learning quicker By eleven, smoking herb and drinking burning liquor Never rich, so we were out to make that steady figure Once I was eleven years old, my daddy told me Go get yourself a wife or you'll be lonely Once I was eleven years old filled in my eyebrows this eyebrow does not like to fill in ever so hold on like um I don't remember how long ago it was like how many years or something but at my last semi-formal um, my friend gave me this thing that was to trim your eyebrows. It was kind of, it kind of looked like a brush, but it was like razor. It was just like a razor. And I decided to like, br like act like it was a brush. Like I thought it was a brush. So you brush through it and it just trimmed them down enough. And I ended up taking off almost all like the end of my eyebrow. <laughs> so when I went in to have my makeup done professionally for my semi-formal dance, she was like, what happened? And I was like, just fill it in, please. And she's like, do you want me to fix it, like, so that your other one is like that? And I'm like, no! Why would I want my other one gone? Like, I can just fill it in. And I made my mom go get me an eyebrow pencil for me to draw it on until it grew back. So, this is the eye look. So, I'm just going to go through and do, like, my natural every other makeup. Um, if you guys want an in-depth on that, I will film a video and post that. But... I'm not going to film it because this video is probably already long with my makeup. So my makeup is completely done. I just have to put chapstick on. I never, ever, ever wear lipstick or lip gloss or anything like that. The only time I will ever wear lip product is if it is a matte lipstick and it's not going to like be tacky and come off. But t since I'm just going to be cleaning up my room and stuff before he gets here, my boyfriend gets here, and then going to get dinner... 
I'm not gonna bother putting on lip stuff except for chapstick, so. This is my makeup look. My cheeks look super red, but it's not because the blush. It's a little bit because of the blush, but the blush isn't that powering. It's because my cheeks are red right there. It's a mess, but <laughs> my makeup is everywhere, so I'm gonna clean this up um, and do my hair quickly because it is almost 2.30 last time I checked, so I need to get my butt in gear because he is heading to my house at 3, 3 30 depending on when he gets done with what he is doing but i'm just to straighten my hair and i'm going to go ahead and do the bow in the back of my hair because i'm doing a hair bow i watched a video on how to do it it's super duper easy i don't know what the girl was talking about with it being hard to do but it's pretty dang easy it's literally like three steps so yeah i gotta hurry up because i have a lot of stuff to do after i get ready and Hopefully, I do not have an anxiety attack, a panic attack from being overwhelmed, and I hope that my stomach doesn't act up because sometimes when I get um, overwhelmed with doing things in a certain amount of time and having very little time to do it, I end up having stomach pains, plus I have not eaten yet today, so that is a problem too. Um, I don't know, I'm just... Once I was seven years old, my mama told me, go make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely. Once I was seven years old. It was a big, big world, but we thought we were bigger. Pushing each other to the limits, we were learning quicker. By 11, smoking herb and drinking burning liquor. Never rich, so we were out to make that steady bigger. Once I was 11, My hair is too short to do this, so all I'm going to do is just do twists. Probably on both sides and pin it back. I'm really upset that my hair isn't thick enough slash long enough to do this because that was really pretty. But if I were to grab thicker sections, it would have to literally be all the way down to here. And I wouldn't have a lot of hair showing at the bottom, which really bugs me. So I'm just going to take little sections like this on both sides and just rope twist them back. And yeah, I'm just going to... See my goals, I don't believe in failure Cause I know the smallest voices, they can make it major I got my boys with me, at least those in favor And if we don't meet before I leave, I hope I'll see you later Once I was 20 years old, my story got told I was writing about everything I saw before Songs have been sold. We've traveled around the world and we're still roaming. Soon we'll be 30 years old. I'm still learning about life. My woman brought children for me. So I can sing them all my songs and I can tell them stories. Most of my boys are with me. Some are still out seeking glory. And some I had to leave behind. My brother, I'm still sappy. Soon I'll be 60 years old my daddy got 61 remember life and then your life becomes a better one i made a man so happy when oh no these little things are gonna stick up now maybe i can put gel in my hair and they'll but this is my hair turned out pretty good i can feel it stabbing me in the back of the head though so i'm going to film a little bit later when i do put my outfit on but i need to get my button gear so i took my hair down and i put it up in a bun like messy bun in the back because i'm just gonna brush out my hair and have it straight because 
Um, the underside pieces that, um, I had my, when I had my underside of my hair shaved, um, they're all curly and I can't get my straightener, um, to straighten it because they're still super short. Um, my room smells so bad because my garbage I had thrown up in when I had the stomach bug and I just took it out. So, like, it smells so bad. I'm trying to finish disinfecting, but I keep wanting to watch YouTube, so I'm going to put it on my TV. Have it up on my TV. I'm so frustrated, though, because last night, before I went to bed, I plugged in this controller and so that it would charge all night. And it was unplugged from my PlayStation, but it looked like it was plugged into my PlayStation. It came loose, so it didn't charge it all last night, so. Anyways, I'm planning on finish disinfecting my room right now because I am a clean freak. Every time that I've been getting sick lately, I have woo, wanted to disinfect my room so that I don't get sick again. But every time that I do disinfect my room and, like, clean my room and, like, spray my Lysol and stuff in here, I always tend to get sick again. So, we're going to see how that goes. Um, I have not heard back from my boyfriend yet. I do not know when he's coming to my house but I'm actually glad that I have a little bit of extra time to finish cleaning my room um because I had a kind of like moment where I had to stop doing everything because I lost hearing my hearing in my ears my ears were so muffled after I yawned for some reason and I think it's just because my face is getting like swollen and stuff since I'm pregnant that my ear canals since I already have ear problems with like getting ear infections and stuff like that uh, my ears did go muffly, and that kind of startled me because I didn't really know what was going on. But I'm going to stop rambling and get back to cleaning. Right, so I'm just going to tuck that piece right by my ear. Oh, this is really going to make me mad. There we go. Sort of. I don't know. But I have a pink bow in my hair. I'm thinking of taking it out and fixing these, though. I don't know, but I changed. My Bailey bump is like small again because since like I said, I was like lost pretty much a few pounds probably. But this is it for the look and the get ready with me video. Right now, I just have a few things I'm gonna do. Probably go live and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys. Yeah.